Have you ever heard the profound saying, it takes a village to raise a child? This ancient African proverb speaks the truth about how we are all connected through the vibrant community of Hastings. We were raised not only by our parents and our extended family, but also by the collective support of our community. We spent so much time together within the walls of Hastings High. Time with friends, time with family, and most importantly, time with the people who shaped us into who we are today. Thank you to those who are with us along this journey, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. I forgot to mention you guys can probably sit now. <laughs> High school is not just about doing our homework and our academic learning, but it's been about something deeper. The feeling of belonging, of being a part of something bigger than ourselves. Whether we realize it or not, we all form part of a village a village that educated us and prepared us for the challenges that may face us ahead. And you guessed it, that village is the Hastings community. My name is Jonathan Bezicek. It's in my great honor to welcome all the guests, the graduates, the staff members, and all of the loving people here who made this day possible. I would like to take the time to give a special thank you to all of the brilliant people that are sitting behind me. As some of you may know, Hastings High School recently hired a ton of new office staff in the past few years, and the excellent work they have done for the graduating class of 2023 and the rest of the school is something we hold so dearly to our hearts. So Scott Dorn, Mindy Tavernier, and Chris Moore, thank you. Whether you guys realize it or not, you guys continue to make Hastings High School and our community better every single day. Fritzy, my man, whoever you are, I'd give you a shout out too, but you gave me too many detentions, man. I'm just kidding, you know I love you. Now as we think about the power of community, I'm reminded not only of the high school with the performing arts wing, the gym, and the classrooms, but I'm reminded of the place where we all gather today. This place where unforgettable memories through sports, competitions, and gatherings have all taken place. It's a place of heart, a place of welcoming, and a place that I would call the center of Hastings, Todd Field. So take a look around, graduates. I just want you to notice how this place makes you feel. Maybe it sparks a memory or two, but notice also, for the last time, how we're all here today with a common purpose. In the early 1900s, just over 100 years ago, this special place that we're in right now was once a cattle watering hole. It was an unofficial city dump for residents. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a junkyard. But can you believe that this beautiful field where hundreds of young athletes and musicians call home was once a place where people just dumped their trash? Well, Todd Field, once a landfill, turned into one of the greatest contributors to the prestigious community that Hastings provides. It's ironic, but it's also crazy how something so junky turned into something so monumental for our town. Now on that topic, all the time we're so focused on the outcome of a goal. We see Todd Field now, and we think of all the great things that it, bring us, that it brings us today. But it's important to know that this did not just happen overnight, but it was a process with many steps along the way. And luckily, it eventually paid off in the long run. But Todd Field quite literally came from trash, and now it's one of the most important pieces of community for the town of Hastings. Graduates, although we may be fearful of the future, 
Just know that no matter how rough the path is, the more it's walked on, the smoother it'll become. The more steps that you take, the more comfortable you become with the choices in your future. Todd Field has not always been so majestic, but take a look at it now. So just remember, no matter how lost you may feel in the future, you might surprise yourself with what you can become if you slowly just keep working at it. Class of 2023, I'm not just talking about you, but also the wonderful parents, the grandparents, and all of the family members who are here to support us today. You've watched your kids play their sports games and play their instruments on this exact field. You watch your kids create memories, memories that they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives. You watch happiness, you watch anger, you watch teamwork, and most importantly, you watch failure. All of these attributes are so important for a graduating class to endure for the time after high school. These emotions taught us how much we valued belonging to something. Class of 2023, you represented the Raider spirit. High school wasn't easy. The breaks through the pandemic and distance learning separated us. But when we came back to the school, we realized how much we valued one another and how much each of us were shaped by our community. From the atmosphere of the student sections, the energy when the wrestlers won state, and the spirit that the show choir represented at nationals, we are very lucky to be able to call ourselves Raiders, and I am blessed to be able to share that with all of you. So just remember that your next step in life is in your own hands, and whether you have it all now or not, purpose takes time. Thank you, class of 2023 for making me feel a part of something. Thank you, class of 2023, for helping me believe in the goodness of people. And thank you, class of 2023, for showcasing the pride of the Raider spirit and always reminding me how lucky I am to be able to call myself a Raider alumni. Good luck to all of you and go shock the world. Jonathan Bezdecek is a son of Andrea and Jamie Bezdecek. He is brother to Lillian and Samuel. Johnny will be attending the University of St. Thomas to study computer engineering and run track and field. Johnny dreams of becoming an artificial intelligence programmer and engineer and would like to travel the world when he grows up. He also, uh, Johnny's life goal is to kick it with some penguins in Antarctica. <laughs> He also hopes one day the Hastings football and track teams will win state championships. Johnny would like to give a shout out to Thomas Reifenberger, his cousin Paul, and Blake Reamer for being his brothers since the very beginning. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming tonight, helping us celebrate the 153rd graduating class of Hastings High School, the class of 2023. My name is Scott Dorn. It's an honor to serve as a principal here at Hastings High School. And I'd now like to invite members of the a cappella group under the direction of Ms. Kristen Hoffmeister to come down and honor us with singing of our national anthem. Please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps.
thank you. That was wonderful. Also, thank you to Emily Chandler and the band for playing us in so eloquently. So please be seated. So graduation is almost exclusively about our seniors, almost. So at this time, I'd like to take a few moments to honor a few members of the faculty who helped them get there today. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the names of this year's Hastings High School retirees. Please join me in honoring, unfortunately not able to be here, special ed teacher, Ms. Heidi DeBruzzi. Math teacher, Ms. Cindy Oppel. And language arts teacher, Mr. David Russell Larson. <laughs> now you have to stand there while we say some nice things about you. You better turn around and face the crowd though. I see you every day. <laughs> So both of these teachers began careers outside of education. Cindy spent time working with Northrop King Seed Company before obtaining her teacher, excuse me, her teaching credentials while living in Kansas. David grew up in Duluth and pursued his dreams of becoming a radio announcer or game show host. The radio gig did pan out before he too found his way into public education. The students of Hastings schools and the profession are better off because of you two. Thank you for your service and dedication to the students of Hastings Public Schools. Your colleagues will now come forward and give you a proper send off. Cindy Apple, David Russell Larson, class dismissed. outstanding educators right there. I would also like to welcome and thank the members of our school board and district administration for your hard work and dedication. I now invite Superintendent Dr. McDowell to come forward so we can recognize students for their outstanding academic achievement. At this time, we want to acknowledge our graduating seniors who are graduating with honors. Students, as I read your name, would you please stand up? The following students are graduating with honors. This means they're graduating with a GPA of 3.867 or better over the four years of their high school career. Sienna Bernard, Emily Erickson, Anna Gearlock, Ethan Claren, Emma McClay, Roman McNamara, Pasir Rubel, Brady Tiergarten, Jordan Tweeter. Help me congratulate these students. And the next graduating students with high honors, meaning they graduate, they're graduating with a GPA of 3.935 or better over the four years. Please stand. Aiden Beal. Jonathan Bezdecek. Talia Brazil. 
Abigail Doffing, Ella Doman, Morgan Doman, Isabel Fritz, Marcos Martinez, Lindsay Mathinson, Daniel Milner, Alyssa Nestigen, Benjamin Ryan, Annika Seebeck, Sydney Tiber, Nicholas Wenich, and Grace Whitfield. Let's congratulate these seniors. And finally, our graduates graduating with the highest honor of a 4.0 GPA over the span of their high school career. The following students please rise. Ava Gaylor. Brady Greiner. Emma Hagen. Ryan Linder. Sarah Myers. Patrick Noonan, Martin Onan, and Sydney Peterson. Congratulations, graduates. Nice work, everyone. So before we hear from our next student speaker, I'd like to honor a few other students this evening. Each year, we have the pleasure of welcoming Global Exchange students to our school. I invite them to stand at this time to, so we can thank them for choosing to spend the year with us here in Hastings. Thank you. Now, students, for those of you who have chosen to join one of our armed forces in service to your country, please rise and face the crowd. Please join me in thanking these young adults. Please stay standing. I would also like to invite anyone in the audience tonight who has served or is currently serving in the military to please stand as you are able so we may honor you for your service and sacrifice. Thank you. Next up to the stage, our next student speaker, Emma McClay. Emma McClay, she's the daughter of Josh and Kasha, Mc, uh, Kasha McClay, and the sister of Addie and Madden McClay. She would also like to give a shout out to Addie on her 15th birthday today. Happy birthday, Addie. <laughs> Emma has been involved in show choir, peer helpers, student council, youth and government, and National Honor Society. She will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison where she will be studying English and pre-law. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers who have helped her along the way. Miss Emma McClay. Life's tough, get used to it. A phrase my dad likes to tell me when I complain about some superficial problem that faces me at the time. As I'm sure many of you can relate, not everything can always go your way in life. Whether it's a paper that didn't get the grade you wanted, moving to a new school, or not getting the job that you've been waiting for, life is really tough sometimes. However, as I stand in front of all of you today, I can see that we made it through the past 18 or 19 years and we all made it through whatever life threw at us. I feel lucky to be surrounded by such a wide range of personalities and skill sets here today. 
Not everybody gets a chance to have a such a close-knit and supportive community like this one. Even if you feel like high school was not your place, I challenge you to think about your time at HHS and of the memories that you will cherish with you and take with you on your journey through life. Some days, our journey was filled with clear skies and easy travel, but other days, our journeys were dark and stormy. Everyone has storms in their life. How we react to our storms is the only choice that we can control. I'd like to share with you one of my favorite stories about facing the storms in our lives. It's called Buffalo Charge the Storm, and it goes a little like this. Animals are very in tune with the weather and can sense bad weather much earlier than humans can. When a storm comes, a cow's first instinct is to run away from it. Without knowing any better, the cows run with the storm, maximizing the amount of pain and time that they experience from that storm. And when the storm finally gets to them, they're weak and suffer in their harsh environment. Now, isn't that counterintuitive? But humans react the same way all of the time. We try to avoid the inevitable or procrastinate our problems away, causing us more stress and hardship. Hey, I'm guilty of it too. Buffalo, however, when they see a storm coming, they run at the storm. And by running at the storm, they actually run straight through it, thus minimizing the amount of time that they're in that storm and have to deal with it. Now notice how these are the same storm, but one takes you out and one is just a blip in time, a momentary inconvenience. In the storms of our lives, we need to imitate the buffalo and face our challenges head on and come out stronger. Life's tough, get used to it. When you run away, it'll only make you weaker. The details of the story become important details of our lives and how we face the adversity that's in front of us. The adversity and storms that we go through in life makes us who we are. It builds character and most importantly, resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back and keep fighting despite your challenges. Like the constant fire drills in fourth hour last year. <laughs> Somebody for sure had to have been trying to get out of that class. Adversity can help individuals find new ways to cope with situations. When we're faced with adversity, we are forced to adapt and find new solutions to our problems. As buffaloes demonstrate, it's not a matter of why the storm happened to you. It's a matter of how you choose to deal with the storm. I used to not understand why my dad always told me that life's tough and that I should get used to it. But it does have a sort of tough love message that I really do think is valuable to hear. In our 18 or 19 years, a lot of storms have come our way. For some of these storms, they might be visible, like breaking an arm or learning how to use cami. However, some might be silent that we keep hidden, like struggling with a mental health issue. You really don't know what somebody is going through until you walk a mile in their shoes. How we move forward with our storms and help others through theirs is by having empathy for others and trying to be somebody's rainbow in their cloudy days. So what's the best way to get through your storm? have a positive mental attitude about life. This will push you further than you ever thought possible. Now, having a positive attitude won't change your storm, but it'll change how you view your storm. If all you do is obsess about your storm and stay in it, you won't move forward. Then, just like the cow, you'll be stuck for much longer than what is necessary. When you have a positive mental attitude, you attract opportunity like our state championships this year. Shout out to our marching band and wrestling team. A lot that helps with having a positive mental attitude is learning to control the controllables. You cannot control what storms life sends your way. You cannot control people's judgments of you. You can control how you react. You can control how kind you are to others. You can control what you are going to do about it. Dwelling on what you can't control will own you and keep you in that storm. One of my favorite quotes is from the award-winning author, Joshua Medcalf, that reads, life is going to punch you in the face. Smile and know that you'll get through this one too. 
It's an incredible opportunity to develop true mental toughness, and your explanation is of greater importance than the actual experience. The storm is not what matters. It's who it turns you into. Will you crack under the pressure, or will you grow? Will you feel sorry for yourself, or will you think about how it can make you better? Will you be the cow, or will you be the buffalo? As this chapter of our lives comes to an end, I wish you all the best of luck on the endeavors that await you. I hope you all can find true happiness and become the person you've always wanted to be. It's a big change moving on from the people who have watched you grow up. When you're missing the Hastings Bridge, Todd Field, or even our grades meme page, remember that the road that takes you to our dreams will always be a road back home to Hastings too. I challenge you all to find the rainbow in your storm cloud and to have a positive mental attitude on whatever life throws at you. Once a Raider, always a Raider. Congratulations, class of 2023. Our final student speaker this evening is Ian Peppel. Ian's parents are Rita Coombe and T.S. Peppel with siblings Godswill, Charlena, and Cassidy. While at HHS, Ian was involved in football, wrestling, FCA, Link Crew. Come on over, bud. Got to stand by me. Link Crew and Bloom. Ian's hobbies include eating, sleeping, and rizzing up friends Josh Root and Jericho Cooper. Ian plans to attend the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire to study nursing and to wrestle. He hopes to become a nurse practitioner. Mr. Ian Peppel. Yeah, hey, everyone. Thank you, sir. It's a little short. Three hundred and forty, three hundred and seventy-two, three hundred and eighty-three, and three hundred and six. These numbers represent the total number of students in the previous graduating classes. And at the measly end lies a three hundred and six, which represents us, the class of 2023. Small but strong, our little class, slowly but surely, has finally made it to the peak of our high school careers which for some of us, we've dreaded. But for many of us, like myself, we've dreamed of. We are finally able to go into the real world and not worry about curfews or sneaking in and out of our houses trying not to get caught, or even being forced to go to our little siblings' Little League games. But as we leave for the real world, we must not forget this town, so small but yet so welcoming, even to a family of immigrants from West Africa, such as my own. Most would consider us one of the smallest classes that come through Hastings in the past couple of years. But although we are small, we've accomplished so much. We have been a part of not one, but two marching band state championship teams, a nationally ranked four show choir, which has dominated the state of Minnesota, and my favorite, a wrestling state championship team that truly shocked the world in an improbable way. <laughs> And there's also us, the class of 2023, avenging our previous year loss to the sophomores in Powder Puff. All of these successes, along with our many unsung ones as well, are in fact due to our vast and many, many failures. And so when I think about failures, I want to share with you guys a story told to me by Hastings head wrestling coach and res uh, resident gardener and rainbow enthusiast, Tim Hanneberg. The story has to do with golf balls. And knowing Hastings with our possibly excessive number of golf, ball, golf courses, I think you guys will love it. Golf balls, like many of us, when we were, when we were started out, were smooth and not, not been tried and tested. They would go the distance, but not as far as the potential they had to go. After the golf balls became a little battered and beat up, people would give up on them and get rid of them for shiny new round ones. However, one man decided to keep his battered and dimpled balls and soon came to realize that they went farther than all the rest. The more hardships and tests the battered balls had been through, the better able they were to go farther and withstand more compared to the shiny and clean ones. 
let's be honest, we've all failed in high school. We've all failed that one test, or some of us, we've all lost that one job we thought we were really good at, but in reality, we weren't that good. Some of us have lost that one boy or girl who we thought was our soulmate, or for some of us, the many soulmates. <laughs> we have all failed, guys, but again and again, we have gotten up, and again and again, we have faced those failures with a smile, grin, or a laugh, and we've learned from them. Our failures have motivated us to become better versions of ourselves and strive for more. For some of us, those failures change us for the better or for the worst. But no matter what, we kept looking for more to challenge ourselves and truly be better. So now graduates, as we end our time together, quite possibly for the rest of our lives, I ask you all to turn over your left shoulder, not your right, and face the crowd. Go on, don't be shy. I want you to look and all those people have supported us through our journey. Our parents and family who've embarrassed us at every moment they could, at our games, concerts, or even for some in our own classrooms. Look at the faculty and adults who have pushed us to the finish line. And that includes you, Officer Fritzy, wherever you are. And finally, a community who has taught us what it means to be a member of our quaint town of Hastings, Minnesota and what it means to truly be a Hastings writer. But most importantly, as you look, I ask you to look at that little boy or girl, or those underclassmen who you became friends with during your boring study hall, or even as we competed against each other in our advisory Olympics, or our dangerous but fun annual Nerf war. And as you look at them, I really want you to realize that that is who we will fail for. We will fail for the next generation because the successes we will achieve learning from those failures will be tenfold. We will achieve wonders as a new generation of artists, engineers, doctors, scientists, explorers, and even more. And in turn, we will inspire them to follow in our footsteps of success and carry on our legacies. So as we end our final moments together in this small but very historic town, I look to you as my fellow graduates, and I wish you nothing but failure knowing the success that will follow. Because graduates, for those who dare to fall, learn to fly. Thank you, and like a wise but very, very questionable Josh Colvin would say, when the bell rings, get out. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go Raiders! Hey, nice work, buddy. Great job. All right, class of 2023, I just have a few words of wisdom that I'd like to share. So this will be my first ever charge to the graduating class. It's kind of like my life challenge to you. So my wife gives me some grief from time to time about how much I listen to 80s and early 90s music. So for instance, where's Hanson? Like, or uh, where's he at? Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam, yep, Prince, yep, 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 all right. <laughs> So there is just something about those songwriters and, and, and uh, lyricists and how detailed and how important those lyrics are specifically to me. So there's a singer by the name of Colin Hay. Some of your parents and maybe grandparents might know that name. He was a lead singer of a band called Men at Work. Yeah, yeah, Colin Hay fans? Uh, okay, three of us, all right. So he wrote a song in the 90s during a solo career called Waiting for My Real Life to Begin. And in that song, you can hear him sing, and I'm not gonna sing. He's saying, when I woke today, suddenly nothing happened. But in my dreams, I slew the dragon. And down this beaten path, up this cobbled lane, I'm walking in my old footsteps again. So the rest of the song bears out the same theme, the same message. He's waiting for his life to begin, just waiting. So my charge to you is, don't. Don't wait. Don't wait for something to happen to you or for you. Don't wait. Make those dreams come true. So try to avoid walking in your same footsteps day after day. Take a different way home from work, from school. You never know what or who might be around that new corner. So. 
Superintendent McDowell, members of the Board of Education, the class of 2023 has met the requirements that have been set forth by you and the state of Minnesota. To Lisa Hedin, Chair of the Board of Education of District 200, I proudly present the class of 2023. Thank you. On behalf of the Hastings School Board, I would like to welcome all of you to the 2023 Hastings High School graduation. We are so honored and excited to share this evening with you. Regardless of what personal role brings you tonight, here tonight, graduate, parent, sibling, family member, staff, community member, pause and hold this moment close to your heart. Hold close the moments that led you here tonight. Graduates, look at this moment with gratitude and kindness and compassion for yourselves and those that have walked with you to this time. Know that you are in the right place and that you are ready for this moment and you're ready for the next one and the next one. The path before you will not likely be smooth. It will not likely be straight, but leading in with gratitude and kindness will serve you all well. On behalf of the Hastings School Board, we offer our congratulations on today's accomplishments and send you best wishes for the accomplishments that are in front of you. On behalf of the Independent School District 200 Board of Education, I accept the recommendation and confirmation that the students of the graduating class of 2023 have met all of the necessary requirements to receive their diplomas. So at this time, I'm gonna invite Ms. Tavernier, Mr. Moore, and Mr. Fritzy to please come forward and assist in the students through their uh, procession. We're lucky enough to have Mr. Hansen once again reading the names of the graduates of the senior class. So to the class of 2023, it has been my pleasure. Congratulations on your well-deserved graduations from your Hastings High School. First row. Let's do this. Pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty good. Max Albertson. Keegan Allen. Avery Amundsen. Alexander Anderson. Colin Anderson. Tanner Anselman. Chloe Axelrod. Brenna Bailey. Noah Bant. Kira Bartholomew. Sydney Bartz, Carter Bauer, Aiden Beal, Siana Bernard, Michaela Burquist, Jonathan Bezdecek. Nina Burt, Grace Bjorklund, Haley Black, Zachary Bloomstrand, Joseph Borash, Sydney Bowker. Brandon Boyd, Jager Brabeck, Talia Brazil, 
Brandon Brown. Samantha Brunner. Heather Birch. Wyatt Berg. Thank you. Andre Burns. Peyton Burrow. Trade you. Allison Bussey. Berlin Bird. Natalie Kaflish. Emma Carter. Molly Katuria. Brenner Katuria Piney. Kira Chattel. Keros Chavez. Adam Christie. Elena Christopher. Catherine Claflin. Polaris Clark. Violet Clark. Blake Clemens. Wyatt Constantine. Rico Cooper. Ashley Cordes. Jacob Cummings. Sydney Dolin. Amber Dawson. Gianna Degree. Isaiah Dick. Abigail Doffing. Ava Doffing. Ella Doman. James Doman. Morgan Doman. Thomas Dorschner. Adam Dewar. Augustine Duncanson. Isaac Ebling. Cody Ellsworth. Nicholas Endress. Aiden Erickson. Emily Erickson. Peyton Erickson. Maximus Falk Gensmer. Peter Fassbender. Paul Ficker. Caleb Folstrom. Ruby Forschnell. Jasmine Forsyth. Sydney Fox. Dean Frandrup. Macy Frandrup. Athena Fryermuth. Isabel Fritz. Ava Gaylor. Garrett Gergen. Anna Gerlach. Hunter Giefer. Isaiah Gint. Brady Griner. Kylie Gruden. Allison Haas. 
Emma Hagen. Carly Hammond. Cash Harder. Josephine Harp McCrory. Daniel Hartenstein. Raymond Hartman. Keiko Baz Hawk. Aaron Herber. Kevin Herman. Morgan Herman. Nathan Hockstead. Zachary Hudella. Sophia Huffman. Mitchell Eiliff. Joseph Iovino. Hannah Isidore. Hannah, congratulations. Elliot Jacobson. Elliot, congratulations. Amber Jacobson. AJ Jager. Nice job. Ashlyn Jensen. Congratulations. Devin Johnson. Congratulations, Gavin. Gavin Johnson. James Johnson. Joshua Johnson Jr. Michael Johnson. Kia Johnson Banks. Congratulations, Kia. Lee Jones. Hunter Kading. Evan Kaiser. Mallory Karnick. Sarah Karnick. Caleb Karnick. Thomas Kennedy. Catherine Kilmer. Chase King. Kaylee King. Ellen Shirkatsate. Ethan Claren. Paige Klebe. Noah Clippen. Libby Knoll. Benjamin Knoll. Evan Koenigs. Callie Kokel. Carson Kropelnicki. Madison Coleman. Tyler Kuhn. Catherine Kummer. Alisa Kurzawski. Brody Larson. Haley Laska. Austin LaFlay. Madeline Lilja. Jade Lindgren. Ryan Lindner. Aviana Long. Melody Lopez. Emma Loudermilk. Kelvin Maher. Ava Mommer. Zachary Martin. Marcos Martinez. 
Lindsay Matheson. Clara Matson. Elijah Matz. Riley McCullough. Deirdre McGinn. Megan McGrath. Caitlin McGraw. Emma McClay. Ava McNamara. Roman McNamara. Samuel McNamara. Gavin Meyer. Lillian Meyer. Isabella Melicio. Francis Mercado Ramos. Colin Myers. Maya Meisa. Austin Miller. Daniel Milner. Anthony Mischke. Tyson Miska. Abdi Shakur Mohammed. Briella Munson. Sarah Myers. Lindsay Nadu. Avery Nelson. Alyssa Nestingen. Jared Neville. Cody Niederkorn. Tristan Nolan. Patrick Noonan. Jaden Nordeen. Gavin Otman. James Olam Klein. Shannon Olson. Hunter Olson. Martin Onan. Congratulations, Martin. Great job, man. Olivia Otto. William Otto. Aiden Pace. Brady Pockle. Yanni Papellis. Samuel Pass. Colin Pakacek. Edward Piney. Jacob Piney. Ian Peppel. Joseph Peterson. Sydney Peterson. Oh. Elizabeth Petrich. Elias Pepper. Jocelyn Pinky. Courtney Pachel. Jemiah Poole. Leah Porter. Ryan Prang. Alexis Quali. Kiki Radent. Paige Radent. Caleb Rausch. 
Thomas Reifenberger. Let's go! Gavin Reimer. Megan Rhine. Dustin Reinardi. Millie Rice. Georgia Riches. Chloe Robinson. Catherine Rogers. Aiden Rose. Joshua Rout. Hunter Rowan. Pacer Rubel. Caitlin Rudd. Benjamin Ryan. Schaefer Sachs. Charlene Salinas. Savannah Sammy. Jacob Shield. Theodore Schirmers. Carly Schmidt Hamilton. Zane Schmidt. Jonah Schumacher. Carly Schweik. Jack Schwendeman. Grant Seaman. Annika Seebeck. William Saline. Evelyn Sellers. Brady Serga. Andrew Saris. Rowan Shellhammer. Vincent Shelton. Morgan Sherry. Rihanna Schick. Matthew Short. Hunter Siebenaller Tigen. Carter Simpson. Hunter Solberg. David Spinks. Michaela Steele. Alexis Steinke. Sydney Stika. Porter Stoffel. Ryan Swanson. Serenity Swanson. Blake Swenson. James Tar Hannock. Tyler Taubenheim. Brady Teagarden. Sydney Tiber. Carissa Thompson. Ella Torkelson. Jordan Tweeter. Jacob Erbach. Aaron Vandehoff. Jasmine Vega Medina. Sage Verver. Alexander Waltz. Zarek Waltz. 
Virgil Wamstead. Liana Wells White. Nicholas Wenish. Joseph Werner. Aliyah White. Emma White. Grace Whitfield. Tegan Wilkerson. Charles Williams. Samantha Williams. Harley Williams. Autumn Winkler. Ariel Walbeck. Hunter Wolf. Connor Wooler. Tyler Wood. Kayla Robleski. Chakong Yang. Alexandra Zaccardi. Catherine Zaccardi. So guests tonight, as our last couple of students are taking their picture, if you want to get your cameras out, now would be a good time. We got a little challenge for you tonight. We are looking for the best toss the cap picture sent to me at the high school, sent it to the principal's email before the end of the weekend. You're going to take one too? All right, multitask. Cooper, good job. So seniors, if you haven't moved your tassel yet, now is a good time. You've earned it. All right, class of 2023, please rise. Again, I want you to know it's been a pleasure. I can speak on behalf of the administrative staff and the teaching staff. You guys have been a fantastic class. On the count of three, I want to see some serious height, guys. One, two, three! <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. That concludes tonight's commencement. Thank you, congratulations. All right, good work, everyone.